family and friends of the Seaview Tabernacle. Welcome to this another Bible study from your host, Pastor Horace Forbes. Today we begin a new series. Today we'll be looking at the security of the believers. That's the theme, the security of the believers, part one. Today's topic is the Christian present position in Christ. The Christian present position. Turn with me now in your Bibles to Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 13. Pastor Paul, read for us. Ephesians 2 verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we go into Bible study, we need to recognize where we stand. And that little word in, I in, is very crucial for the believers. Because if you are not in Christ, then you are out of Christ. And so as we go into Bible studies, my prayer today is that God will open up our understanding, that we'll understand the word. Let us pray. Father, we commit this word now into your hand. We pray, Lord, that as your word goes out, your people will understand your word. We know that the old dragon would want to darken, confuse, and do all sorts of things to make the word be muggled. But in your name, Jesus, we pray that it will be simple and even a child will be able to understand. Bless us now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we go, turn over to Pastor. I'm going to ask you to like, share, and subscribe. Over to you, Pastor Bob. Thank you very much, Sister Forbes. As we begin, as was said, a new uh, series, and it is the security of the believers. And there are two words that we have in our mind. One is the assurance, which having confidence, and the other one is a security, means that the believer is safe. Now, there are three classes of professing Christians in the, the local church. Firstly, there are those who are saved and they know that they are saved. Mm -hmm. And there's a verse in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know in whom I have believed. Mm -hmm. So one knows about his salvation. And the second one is those who are saved and are not sure mm -hmm. of, their, of their salvation. Save, but doubt it. Mm -hmm. And the third one, they are those who think that they are saved. They think that they are, are saved, but they are not having a head knowledge, mm -hmm. but the saving grace or regeneration does not take place in the heart because salvation does not take place in the head. But it takes place in the heart. And Paul said in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, that if thou shalt believe with thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart, man believeth unto salvation. So the question is, are you saved? And it's a personal question I am asking you today. Others might say, yes, I hope so. <laughs> Another might say, I trust God because they are not sure. Yet, another might say, I think so. And I cannot positively know until I die. Mm. That person still not sure. But brethren, no so one will say, I am 
positively sure because I believe in the finished work of Calvary and by grace I am saved to faith it is the gift of God and therefore salvation is given as a gift is not something that you work for brethren it is not a reward mm -hmm. it is not as wages that you work for at the end you get your wage if a man receives salvation as wages or as a, or as a reward then salvation is not a gift it is something that you're entitled to and each person that work in the week at the end of the, the week that person is entitled for wages mm -hmm. so therefore the Bible said less any man should boast Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 so uh, Christians are not sure some are not sure why because they fail to distinguish between your position and your state secondly they fail to be misinterpret the scripture because they don't interpret the word of God correctly mm -hmm. they fail to misunderstand between law and grace mm -hmm. and we need to recognize that we are in the age of, of grace and uh, secondly and fourthly they fail to misapply the scripture and to realize that we are in this new dispensation and brethren there are some scriptures that do not apply to christian since we belong to the to this age of grace example in Saint Matthew chapter 24 and verse 13 but he that endure to the end the same shall be saved but this is speaking to people that will be going through the great tribulation so firstly let us look at the Christian present position the position that you have now are the position that you are in now the bible said but now in christ jesus and position speaks of the place one occupies believers are placed in christ jesus as sister forbes said that little word in is very important and this is our present position now mm -hmm. as you are sitting as you are listening mm -hmm. now at this time and therefore uh, one does not grow into christianity mm -hmm. yes when you are in christ you grow or you develop but you don't grow into christianity mm -hmm. And therefore, in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7, in whom Christ we have redemption. The person of Christ we have redemption. In Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 11, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance. And our inheritance is in Christ. In Ephesians 1 and verse 13, in whom he also trusted. You trusted in the Lord. And in the same verse, Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 13, in whom also that he believe, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. And I want us to look at the two words. You were sealed. And this is the past tense. In the Greek, it is the error's tense. There was a time in your life mm -hmm. when you gave your heart to the Lord and you could look back and say, I was saved then. I was. And Paul is saying that you were sealed. The stamp 
and the approval of God. And therefore we are now in Christ Jesus because we were placed in Christ. Not some uh, later date when we are mature. Not when we enter heaven and Jesus sanction it. But now, and brethren, we have looked at the present uh, position. But let us look at the perfect position in Christ Jesus. The one that came born in a manger. The one that died on the cross for us. Paul is saying, in whom we have redemption. And but now in Christ Jesus. And this is a perfect yes position. And this per perfect uh, position is that we are saved. Is a safe place. Yes. And in uh, Titus chapter 3 and verse 5. He saved us. He saved us. And I want us to look on the word. He saved us. But secondly, not only it is a safe place, but it is a sure place. First Timothy 1 verse 12. I know without a shadow of a doubt. Because I am certain the person that I put my trust in, I am certain. So I am sure. But uh, th thirdly, it's a sheltered place. It's a place of refuge. It's a place of covering. It's a place of protection because we are in Christ. And it's a sheltered place. But fourthly, it is a safe place. We are out of danger and incapable of harm. That means is there to protect us. Is there to preserve us? Is there to take care of us? But fifthly, it is a sanctified place. It is a holy and sacred place. Why? Because we are in Christ Jesus. And sixthly, it is a secure place. As I said, brethren, we are free from danger. And, uh, and Paul and Peter speak of the no salvation that we have. In Romans chapter 3 and verse 21, but now the righteousness of God. And we are looking at the word in and now. And uh, in Romans 6 verse 22, but now being made free from sin. And I wonder in First Peter chapter 2 verse 10. Which in time past. We were not a people. But now we are the people of God. There was a time when we were not of God. But since we are in Christ. We are the people of of God and even in uh, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13 but now the text in Christ Jesus so we see the present position we see the perfect position but thirdly let us look at the permanent position mm -hmm. a lasting per uh, uh, position and in uh, 2 Timothy 2 and verse 9, who art saved us? Who has saved us? A permanent place that we are in, the Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore, that little word in speaks volume. Mm -hmm. It's an important word. The Bible said, if any man... Be in Christ is a what? New creature. Is a new creature. If you are in Christ, you are made new in the Lord Jesus Christ. So the present position is that of a son. 
permanent sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. A sun is always a sun. Yes. And you cannot be a sun if yes. you are a son of God. And if you belong yes. to God, you are a lasting son. And if you have a natural son, in spite that son may be rebellious, Mm -hmm. disobedient to you but that son is always a son and listen what john said in john chapter uh, 1 verse 12 but as many as received, as received him to them gives he the right to become the sons of god you have the right to be called the son of of god who were born not of flesh nor of the will of the flesh, now the will of man, but of God. Yes. Sister Forbes, you were born of God. Yes. Sister Forbes, you are a daughter of the King of Kings and Lord oh. of Lords. So therefore, John also uh, said in First John chapter 3 and verse 2, Now are we the sons of God? It does not yet appear what we shall be. Yes. But brethren, we know that when he shall appear, we all shall be like him, for we shall see him as, as he, is. he is. And uh, Christ has made us his children. And uh, this sonship makes us hear Romans chapter 8 and verse 17 and his earship guarantees our protection our preservation for we are kept there's another word we are kept by the power of God unto an inheritance mm -hmm. incorruptible and and uh, 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 and fade it not away and defile reserved in heaven for us first peter chapter one and four uh, to five no man shall be able to pluck my son out of my hand mm. no man is able to pluck mm. my son out of my hand and that's what Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and no man mm. is able to pluck them out of my hand. So, brethren, in closing, Paul said, we are sealed unto the day of redemption. Ephesians 4 and verse 30. You have a seal upon your life. Mm -hmm. And uh, secondly, our life is hid with Christ in God. Colossians 3 and verse 3. And therefore, if your life is hid in Christ by God for safekeeping, that means that you are in Christ and Christ is in God. And therefore, they will have to come to Christ before they can go to God. And therefore, we are hid for safekeeping. Mm -hmm. And the other verses that we could use. But next time, we we'll use those uh, uh, verses. So therefore, the one who is saved cannot lose it. Mm -hmm. You cannot lose your salvation. Because you are in Christ. And therefore, the one who saved and saved and settled, yes, may lose his reward, but not his salvation. May lose his fellowship, but not his relationship. Because we have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Believer's position rests upon the, the body of truth. The old counsel of the word of God. Yes, brethren, it is a present position. 
It is a perfect position. And it is a permanent position. Who, what shall separate us from the love of God? Mm. And Paul enumerates a different thing. But he said, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. May God help us to know where we are. May the word of God plant us and that we don't doubt our salvation. I know in whom I have believed and I'm certain that God is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. And if you are not saved, Jesus Christ wants to save you. He died up on the cross for you. Just open your heart and say, Lord, into my heart. Into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come in and save me. May God bless you. Bless your words today, O oh God. Help us to appreciate and to understand that whom the Son set free is free indeed. To this end, we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.